Dennis Brown led police on a high-speed chase that went right past the Newton County Sheriff's Department. A deputy's body camera, just like this one, captured the emotion, the urgency, the life-threatening danger facing a two-year-old girl. Come on out of the car! All right, all right. It's okay, come guys, out of the car! Guys, got the kid right in his hand. Watch your fire, guys. Police thought they had Brown cornered in a neighborhood street near Lafayette. Hey, that, we're all good, huh? You're okay! Yeah, we're all okay, huh? It wasn't at all okay. Hey, you're hey, you're a knife to the baby's throat. As Brown insisted while he sped off. Minutes and miles away, cops, their guns drawn, had him stopped and surrounded on I-65. Officers had a clear view of a potentially deadly situation. But do it if you can. I'm just, he's got the knife literally against her neck. Put the knife down! Talk to him, man. Police persisted, pleading with Brown. Put the baby down the top. Come on. Exactly. Hey, put the baby down, throw the knife out, nobody gets shot. Start with the knife. Come on, man, do the smart thing. He's trying to smother the kid right now, I think. Less than a minute later, police made their move. Hey, we're going to break the window. We can't talk to you without it. We're going to break the window. We're we breaking the window, so we got to yeah, 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 yeah. You want the baby out? He's got it up to his own throat. Man, man. Break that window, break that window. With police closing in, Brown handed his crying daughter to an officer. Brown, police say, then slit his own throat. He survived. The 14 criminal charges filed against the Milwaukee man include kidnapping, confinement, and battery. If convicted, Brown could receive a prison term that keeps him locked up for decades. In Newton County, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.